Hi, welcome to Rhonda Said. I am Rhonda, currently saying things with a very good friend of mine, Robin. We'll just call her Robin H for anonymity's sake. She will be my <laughs> makeover model today, and she's very nervous about it. She's doubting my skills, but that's no, okay. I'm not doubting her skills. She just wears very elaborate makeup, and I hardly wear any. But that's fine, because we're going to do just a basic look for you. And this is some Illamasqua uh, moisturizing primer that I've already started putting on her a little bit. So we're moisturizing and priming her skin all at the same time. And I sanitize my brushes that have new makeup to use on her face. It's going to be very lovely, I tell you. And feel free, we can talk amongst ourselves. People like banter, so don't be afraid. Well, I do feel very special that Rhonda's doing my makeup today. Well, this is, and you're my first makeover person. I know, who would have thought that it would be you? Out of I all know. the people in the world, you're <laughs> number one. So I am special. You are special. I keep trying to pull this top off. And she has brought her own foundation, which is Rodin Fields. And this is Radiant Defense, and it is a perfecting liquid with broad spectrum SPF of 30, which is great because everyone should use sunscreen every day, Correct. especially when they hike. She's a hiker. She takes beautiful natural pictures of the world. And this is in beige too. And she likes to use a little brush with it, but I think I'm going to use my brand new little makeup sponge here that I got from Shop Miss A. And I'm just going to dab it on your face. And we color tested to make sure it would look good. And it looked fantastic. And I moistened this sponge with a little bit of water. She's not a big foundation wearer, so we're just doing it to even out her skin color. Take out some of the redness. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> it's okay to get foundation on your lips. It can make your lipstick last longer. So Robin, tell us a little bit about yourself. These You're a stranger to these people watching. Hmm. What would you like them to know? Hmm. I do love the outdoors. I do a lot of hiking. And... Um, Hence, I do a lot of perspiring. I don't, that's one reason I don't wear a lot of makeup because I just seem to sweat it off. And uh, I'm always amazed at people who show up for a hike in full makeup and they still look like they have full makeup on after walking five or ten miles. Are they young? No, some of them aren't. They're kind of my age. And uh, I don't know. Keep your eyes closed. But I do enjoy hiking and outdoors and nature. And I've got a granddaughter who's 19 who lives with me and she keeps me young. Um, Does she keep you up with all the latest slang words? Oh, yes. What's yeah. your favorite new slang word that you've heard? Oh, my gosh. I don't know. I don't pay much attention to <laughs> it. She did. Uh, she has a very subtle way of letting me know I'm old. <laughs> I uh, love quilts. I was, my new addiction is online auctions. Oh, that's dangerous. And I know. They can get expensive quick. Well, there was a quilt. I was, the pattern I've been wanting for years and uh, it was on an online auction. It's like, I'm going to sign up and bid for that. And I told her I was bidding on it. And she said, old people love quilts. And I said, do you think I'm old? And she goes, grandma, do you love quilts? I said, I do love quilts. She didn't say another word. And that's how she operates. That's funny. Well, that's not too terrible. No, no, she's sweet. She's sweet. It could be a lot worse. And I did win the quilt the next day. I came home. And, was uh, it a good deal? I think so. I mean. What kind of pattern was, was it? It was a double wedding ring. I had a feeling it was a wedding ring it quilt. Was, it was a fair price. How, how, I, what, what colors were it? Multicolors. Okay, close your eyes. And I told her I won the quilt bet and she's, or the bid. And she said, because I have a quilt hanging on my wall. And she goes, I can't believe you gave that much for a wall hanging. I said, it's not a wall hanging, it's a quilt. And she goes, 
I gave five dollars for my tapestry hanging on my wall. I said, well, it's not a tapestry, it's a quilt. It's a work of art. She goes, well, what are you going to do with it? So I'm going to put it on my bed. She goes, so you gave that much money for a blanket? <laughs> you got to love them. Yeah, she has no idea what things are no. worth. Even as I explained all the little intricate pieces that were pieced together and done by It's hand, like math. It's like a lot of geometry still, they and just stuff. Don't, they just don't appreciate that kind of stuff. No. And maybe she will someday. I don't know, but... Right. Well, the powder that I'm using on you is the Becca Hydra Mist in Translucent. And it's got a cooling feeling, so if it feels like it's a little wet, that's why. <laughs> Do you feel a little tingle on it? <laughs> no. No? Well, maybe I'm not putting enough on. That's a good foundation there. So we've got foundation on. I'm not gonna use concealer on her because under her eyes looks pretty good. And so now I'm going to take some uh, Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and mist her face with it to set the powder and foundation. You can open your eyes. Mm. Now that felt cool. Yeah, I, misters are fantastic. I might hook you up with one before you leave. Mm. I have a lot of face sprays. And that one smells really good. It smells fresh. It does. It smells fresh. Exciting. Don't you guys just love this girl? Oh. <laughs> she, she's my new uh, guilty pleasure. Love watching her videos. She sneaks in on some live chats, too. I do, too. That was so funny. The other day I was talking about doing this video. I was like, and she's a little bit older than me. And she's like, pop up. Hi, Rhonda. And I was like, hey, Robin. Uh -oh. You have to type when you're talking about typing, you have to go like that. Oh, we talk, we're talking and typing, Hi, Rhonda. but it was Good fine. I know, day. so but it's because people have asked me, you know, because I have a very large eye area that, and you've also asked me about that, like how to address having a smaller eye area as far as yes, very small <laughs> but very lovely, all the same. Thank you. But people ask, you know, about different shape eyes and things. So this is one way of showing how I address that. And now I'm going to use my California in a box, my favorite uh, bronzer. And I also use this blush a lot. I don't ever use this highlighter because it's kind of stupid. But this, I'm starting to like hit pan on this. And what a bronzer does, it gives you the effect that the sun would give you if you've been out in the sun. It gives you a little warm glow. It takes... So you don't look pasty and pale. Yeah, let's do that. Give me some bronzer. And I'm just going to warm up your forehead area. It's just, and we do it where the sun would normally hit you. So, and then I do a little on your cheeks. I don't do contouring because it's hard. And my bronzer acts as a contour for me. And that's just how I do it. There's other people who go into full drag mode contouring and things but not me lift up your chin and we're dusting under your chin and your jawline to define your jaw area to give you a little shadow there so it gives you the illusion of a more chiseled jawline mm -hmm. i could stand that who couldn't really and so then i've got pixie by petra it's a lovely blush and peach parfait and I use this Scott Barnes number 64 brush for about everything, as far as blush and bronzer go. I'm just gonna warm your face up with a little blush so you have a healthy glow. Can you, you can see right there. Mm -hmm. It's just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to do a whole lot to look good, girl. Looks like I've been kissed by the sun. That's right, mm -hmm. the sun done made out with you, girl. <laughs> That sunset, that robin's hot. <laughs> She's so hot. She's like a curry. Mm -hmm. I just know. A green curry. A green curry. They're the hottest. That's right. And she loves Thai food, and I love Thai food. I do. I love all food, but especially Thai food. I do. I love it. Now I'm going to take this uh, NYX Fluff and Fill eyebrow pencil and give you the illusion of eyebrows. Oh, uh, yeah. I could stand that for sure. And this is just a nice brown color. I'm not the best with eyebrows, but this will give you 
a little bit of an eyebrow. And just tracing where you're, where you have some brows. And just filling in where you would have brows naturally. Like I said, this is not my forte, so you guys don't come for me because they're not perfect. But now it looks like she has eyebrows, which yeah. is very exciting. I don't know if they've gotten sparse from over tweezing from the 70s penciling eyebrows or it's just because uh, it's probably falling out of my eyebrows and, and they're going to my chin now. Well, it's just part of age. <laughs> I mean, I part of it's just old age. Not old age, but like getting older. Because like I'm 51. I am no spring chicken. And so this is the Wander palette that I got from Ipsy Ultimate the other day. And it's in Rush. And this is perfect. I'm going to give her this palette. And it's a perfect palette to go for everyday looks. Or you could do some glam with it. But she wants something that she can wear to work in everyday so that's what we're going to do is hook her up. So uh, I'll swatch the palette real quick. So Charge, Blitz, OTW. Because it's good to see how things are going to work. And then here's Hustle, Avenue, and Swift. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Very pretty. I told you we we're gonna use this makeup wipe a lot. And I'm dropping stuff. I grabbed that. Thank you, ma'am. Oh. And we got kitties watching us because it's so fascinating. Yeah, Louie's here. That was Jesse. It's okay. They they all look the same. They're black. I didn't see them. And I'm gonna take this giant brush. I'm gonna have you close your eyes. And I'm going in your crease right now with this color, OTW. And I used her foundation as eye primer. So take a look. See, I've just put it in the crease. Mm -hmm. And it gives you a foundation for the other colors. So I got it. And I'm cleaning off my little brush with my little sponge that I love so much. And trying to find a smaller brush to use because I have much bigger eye space than you do. And I'm going to use this Luxie brush that I can never read the name of. And I use it all the time. And I think we're gonna go into Avenue, which is kind of a green gold. And I'm just gonna hit the, the corner right here. It's very pretty. Let me soften it up a little. I'm just blending it out. All right. Let me take a look. Because mm -hmm. she wants to be able to replicate this. Mm -hmm. So I'm letting her see what's going on. That plastic is in the way. No wonder you couldn't see very well. Then I'm gonna go into charge and go under her brow bone. And it's going to soften everything. And it highlights under the brow. And I'm also gonna take it into the inner corner here. We're just going for a real subtle look today. All right. And take a look. Pretty. And we're not even done yet. I'm going to get a blender brush. Yes, I love uh, my girl Rhonda here is her dramatic eye looks, but <laughs> I don't think this girl can carry those off. Just softening everything up. But it's okay. The whole thing about makeup is there's different approaches for everybody. Mm -hmm. 
And so we've got a little bit of brow. We've got a little eye color. Now we need to do some eyeliner. I'm trying to decide between black and brown. I think I'm going to go brown. And this is a ColourPop cream gel liner in the color of Mr. Bing. Mr. Bing. And what I'm going to do is line her lashes, like right around her lashes. So close your eyes. Try not to squint. Squinting comes natural. I'm just going right above your lash line. I open, take a look, see it gave it a little definition. Mm -hmm. Ooh la la. Now it's time for mascara. So I don't put mascara on people, but you can put mascara on yourself. All right. And this is a brand new Ico uh, black mascara with a nice curved wand. Yeah, there you go. Start at the base of the lash and you're doing just exactly the way you're supposed to. And that's giving your lashes some length and definition. That's a pretty good little mascara. Mm-hmm. Discovering pretty good. Because you've got some long lashes. Well, I'm glad you're saying so because I used to not, but I've been using this Rodan and Fields Lash Boost. It's really working. And it really is working. I can't believe it because I used to have nothing but little stubs. Yeah, do another coat on your other eye because you did two coats on your left eye. And uh, it really is working. So you need to do two coats so they show up. But yeah, your lashes are a nice length. Are you feeling glamorous? Well, yes. Do, am I looking glamorous? You are looking glamorous. <laughs> so I'm giving you everything today except for the eyeliner. Well, thank you. And I've got this nice matte liquid lip. And liquid lips are great because they last longer than regular lipstick. And they dry down. To, like this is a liquid lip and it dries down to a, a matte finish so you don't have to worry about something super shiny because that's totally not who you are mm -hmm. i forgot to do some highlight we're gonna do some highlight on you too i was wondering why you don't use bullet lipsticks you always say you don't use bullet because lipsticks. bullet lipsticks come off in like five seconds and they smear and i don't like smearing so there you go pout baby pout And this is, oh, where is it? It's, this is Mellow Matte Liquid Lip Paint in Turan. So this is a great neutral color. So you can wear this with pretty much anything, even by itself. It's giving you a little bit of pout. Cause you've got some nice full lips. Well, thank you. We can hear Rome in the background talking to the cats. He's cute. All right. And a little highlight and then you'll be done. How easy was this? Pretty easy. I'm telling you, you can do this girl. <laughs> I'm going to use the Jeffree Star highlight in Peach Goddess. And you can get highlighters that are less expensive. But this is what this does is it brightens up your face and gives you a little bit of a glow. And no one's ever too in a little above your brow. It's like also where the sun would hit you, like a beautiful glow. There you go. You have a full face of makeup. How wow. do you feel? It feels good. It doesn't feel too overdone or... I like it. 
I like it. So this was my first makeover video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. And I plan on doing some more of these in the future. So thank you so much for coming. You have so many uh, opportunities on the internet for fun and exciting things. And thanks for being here. I hope you have a great day. And Robin knows that I've said this on my voicemail for at least over 20 years. Mm -hmm. Have a great day or the day of your choice. And we'll see you real soon. Bye. It was